Hey guys, Joshua Gundamu here with another Gundam MSA review, and today I'm reviewing Shars Galgoog Battle Scarred. It's a custom that I made. I uh, introduced it in a contest entry to Spew 2001 some time ago, several years ago. So uh, let's get to the review. Basically, I was kind of disappointed that uh, Shars Galgoog had uh, damaged parts that came with Lala's mobile armor, which at the time I did not have, but now I do. But, uh, you know, Bandai, when they were releasing the MSIA in the United States, they released several Battle Scarred units. And the Battle Scarred units were pretty cool. But the thing is, they didn't release enough. Um, Bandai kind of dropped the ball on development on that. If they had released a Battle Scarred Shars Gelgu, I totally would have bought it. If they had released a Battle Scarred Zaku 2, absolutely would have bought it. And so on, and so on, and so on. You know, and there was a Battle Scarred Wing line that never came to be. And it was quite disappointing. Like, they didn't even release it in Japan. In fact, the Battle Scarred line only came out in the U.S. Did not come out in Japan. Interesting. Except for a few exclusives. But, um, here's the Battle Scarred parts from the Shars Gelgu. You can see I tried to replicate it off of pictures as best as I could. Um, not perfect, but pretty nice. So you got some wires sticking out of there. Cut the shoulder itself. But, um, you know, that doesn't look very battle scarred. It looks like you got some damage, but it's not very battle scarred. I, I really wanted to make this thing look like it had been through hell. And so I did that. I used kind of a, a wood burner and various things, including some uh, some solder that you see on the figure here and there. And I went over it with a, a wash, a thick wash. And uh, that's kind of how you get that, that grungy, dirty look. You know, it's really easy to replicate. It's basically as if you were trying to panel line the figure, but didn't wipe off the stuff when you were done. So, uh, he didn't come with any extra parts. I'd actually taken a Shars Gelgoog. Uh, I didn't ruin a perfectly good one. I had one that was slightly discolored. It had been exposed to cigarette smoke by a previous owner. It, it kind of reeked at the same time, and it just it needed a better life. And, uh, I don't... So, yeah, I battle scarred the rifle. You can see that there. It's got bullet holes and, and slash marks and things. Shot right there. Pretty destroyed looking figure. It's got the standard flexibility of Shars Gelgu. You can see there's some solder. It's on his arm there. Looks nice and shiny. But I think this guy looks pretty awesome. I wish that they had released a battle scarred Shars Gelgu. If they had, I would have bought it. Absolutely would have bought it. Along with any others from the One Year War. And I, uh, they spent too much time on those G Gundams. G Gundams were neat, but, I mean, it's the UC stuff that sold the best. If they kept carrying that stuff out, oh yeah, the line would have gone so much longer. Well, hope you enjoyed the little review. If you're curious about the flexibility, make sure to check out my uh, Shars Gelgoog MSIA review. If you're looking for Gundam MSIA action figures, make sure to check out our store, Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer. There's a link down below in the more info area. We get new stuff all the time. Catch you guys later.